and this should be a good one. Willie McDougall against Casey Swiderski for the Cyclones. McDougall is a two-time New York State champion and national qualifier for the Sooners. Swiderski he was the number three recruit in high school, a four-time Michigan State champ with a record of 166-3. and three. And So what you're seeing is a big talent gap between the two teams. But remember, Coach Dresser's in year seven. Coach Kish doing a great job. Just a great guy. His kids love wrestling for him, a relentless worker. He gets recruiting. He just has to have more time to do more of it. Willie is a more reactive wrestler, but real tough to score on. He's got an opposite hand tie. Swerdashki has wicked heel picks. You're going to see him attempt that over and over again. He's coming back from minor knee surgery. Willie's coming off a nice win over Cayman Smith from Navy, 12-6. Two minutes to go in the first period. Nice pressuring forward by Willie. He's a guy with a lot of talent. Got to learn a little more. Got to learn to control tie-ups to get his shots off. The spirit is willing. The shots are often not assisted by good setups. It's pressure in Casey Swiderski back, and that's not an easy thing to do. Now you got to shoot him off the mat. Maybe, oh, nice high crouch by Swiderski. Willie's a little like Tion Ware there. He can take a nap with his leg up in the air. But maybe not against Casey Swiderski. We'll see. Doing a nice job of pulling Willie into the center of the mat. He's got his leg up high. He gets him bouncing, but as he goes down, he hops forward. Willie gives up nothing easy, and there's 50 seconds left. That's an awful long time to hop. He's starting to work hands. I'm confused as to the signal by the official here. Gets a leg up in the air, and oh, wow. Real nice finish. And with 31 seconds left, Swiderski takes a two to one lead. And that would be a three point takedown. Okay, Coach Kish is actually questioning the call. Let's see if we can see it. hearing that we don't have replay, so we can't call for that. I thought I saw one earlier. Coach Kish has a real good demeanor. He's going to talk to the official, at least get him thinking. He's already thought, and he's not changing his mind. I think it was the right call. Okay, we got 31 seconds left. Willie down four to zero. Huge to get an escape here. And if you can add a takedown to it, put yourself right back in the match. Good motion off the whistle. He's in a crab ride there. Back up on his feet. Zdarsky looking for wrist and possibly roll through tilt. Nice escape by Willie with 15 seconds left. And it looks like the period's going to end with Zdarsky with a 4-1 to one lead. And there it is. Okay, I'm told we do have replay, so hopefully we can call for it in the future. 
Cooley's on top. The whistle blows. Nice mat return. Back down to the crotch. Another good lift there. But Swardashki relentless in getting to his feet. That's the way you break the spirit of the guy on top. But nice. Cooley takes him down off the mat. Not a takedown in a sense, but a mat return. Gets the crowd excited. That's three times in a row. He's lifted him off his feet. Better yet, to stop that first move, double thigh pride, go to the ankle drive, bump and get wrist. It's a double thigh pride, but you got to keep driving. Swardeski's back on his feet again. You can't keep returning, and there's the escape. I should say that. I shouldn't say that because there's a guy named Kyle Dake who won a national champion with relentless mat returns as well as a bundle of other things. There's that heel pit to a single, but they're off the mat. Okay, so they're going to stop that, but they're also going to give a warning for fleeing the mat. Swardeski with a 5-1 lead. Really shaking it out. But the concern is doesn't really do a good job of setting his opponent up to get his leg attacks on. He's got some good leg attacks, but to beat the good stance of a good opponent, you got to set him up. You got to control the ties. A little high in his stance, too. But still battling hard is William McDougall. Swiderski stalking. There's another heel pick attempt. Either finishes it as a heel pick or he'll finish it as a low single. Sometimes he'll catch the pick and then re-attack with the other hand, the other leg. Single right by Swiderski has coming out the back door, looking to turn the bottom leg. Can free his own ankle, Willie's clinging to those ankles wisely. 22 seconds left in the period, and there's a stalemate. Here's the good thing about the three-point takedown. Wooley can get one now. He's only behind by a point. I think it's just going to be tough. Yeah, it took a nice shot, but not close to penetrating the defense in case Swerdeer's. Swiderski, one of the all-time great Michigan wrestlers. Another one is over on the bench. Brent Metcalf from Davidson, Michigan. Four-time state champion, all everything, and two-time NCAA champion at the University of Iowa. Willie up to his feet. And there's the ones. 5-2, it takedown ties it, no riding time. But Swardashki has him on the edge, takes a shot. Willie looking for a go behind. He may run out of real estate here, though. And that's what he did. You gotta let him back in. Referee wisely circuit calling action. If you have your opponent on the edge, you have to give him an opportunity at least to get back in. Willie wants to shoot, stuttering, but he's coming up and down rather than in and out on the stutters. But you can see he's going to shoot. Unfortunately, I think Mr. Swiderski can see that as well. A minute 11 left in the last period. Perhaps the last period. Crowd giving the boom machine a nice low single by Swiderski. And he's tr going to try and get Willie hopping and then kick that leg out from under him, which he did. Very well-coached team. I think Coach Kitch and company, Coach Kish, are, are very well-coached as well. Just need to get some more recruiting classes under their belt. Looking for that return. Whoa! Takes him off the mat. Scores 8-2 to two with 37 seconds left.
going to need an escape and a takedown to the back. In a crab ride here. Swiderski's tough in every position. Top, bottom, and neutral. And so important, young wrestlers. You got to have a top game. You got to be able to wrestle on top. A young man by the name of Joe Flaggett was an All-American as a freshman. But he did nothing on top. He really challenged him to do so. What if he can hurt? You know, and you can't, you're not the same wrestler on your feet. Worked in the spring, worked in the summer on his top game, and tore his hamstring before the Big 12 and the NCAAs. Still able to persevere through the All-American honors. The clock has run out, and Iowa State with yet another win, 8-3 victory by Casey Swiderski. They're up 15-0.